Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Apollo IO and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you set up Apollo IO sequences? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to set up a sequence in Apollo IO anyway? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know, it's important to make different touches to your potential customers and also to your current customers. And with Apollo IO, they have these things called sequences. It's kind of like an email follow-up sequence, but the difference is you can actually add in phone calls and tasks into the sequence. So it's going to be a mix of emails, phone calls, and then also LinkedIn requests. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Apollo IO dashboard. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my Apollo IO and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to go ahead and set up your sequences here on the left side, you're going to click on sequences. It looks like a paper airplane. Okay, so here you're going to see all the email funnels and sequences you've already set up. However, to set up a new one, you want to click right here, create sequence on the top right in blue. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to get these four different options. So in order to create a sequence, if you've done this before, you can go ahead and start here from scratch. So basically you're starting from the ground up. So if you're trying to get it up and running quickly, you probably want to go ahead and use one of these two options. So pre-formatted just means that there's templates. So you can change the templates and you can add in other steps, but at least it gives you the wired framework or you can use the AI assisted. So basically you're going to tell AI what kind of sequence between phone calls and emails, and it's going to outline that for you. So for the purpose of this video, let's go ahead and use AI to set up an Apollo IO sequence. Okay. So for this test account, I've already entered some of the data points. So Apollo IO is going to pull that data automatically, but you can go ahead here and change this. So here I put that we are a Chinese food office catering company. I put in the pain points that our customers generally have, what our value proposition is, and then the call to action for them to go ahead and book a Chinese food catering order, and then an overview of our company. And then here you can go ahead and add any additional context and that way AI can kind of craft a good sequence for you. So once you're done with this questionnaire, go ahead and click here, generate new sequence. Okay. It's processing. Okay. Based off that information, Apollo IO AI came up with a three-step sequence. So it looks like it's a mixture of just emails on this one. So it shows me the first email, the second email, we can go ahead and open that up so we can read through this and then we can add in different features if we want to. So maybe we want to go ahead and enter in our link. We can go ahead and add that in there. And then we can also edit this and press large customers and press great customers, deliver authentic Chinese food for up to 200 employees. Let's go ahead and change that to do 400 employees. Okay. So go ahead and go through these. And then once it looks relevant to you, go ahead and click on save sequence. Okay. So now we are here in the sequence. So it's already outlined. So we have a three-step process. Now you can leave it at three steps or you can build it up to 200 steps. That's really up to you. If you want to add in more steps, just click down here, add a step, and then you can choose from these. So maybe you want one of your employees to call after an email sent out. We can click right here, phone call. And then when do you want this task to be set up? So let's do this. Let's do it 20 minutes, 20 minutes after the previous step. And then this is going to be a high priority. I really want my assistants to call in there and see if they want a Chinese food delivery. Here I can go ahead and add a script so my employees will be able to read it directly from Apollo IO. And that way it keeps everything kind of uniform. Ask if it was the right order and if they want to place another order. Okay. And you can go advanced setting so we can skip this if my employees don't get to it after a day. All right, let's go ahead and click on continue. And you're going to see it's going to add in another sequence. So this is actually really important. You can see that it dropped in the phone call on step four. So that means that after day seven on this automatic email, my employees or my contacts are going to be alerted to phone call. But I actually want this to be after the first contact email. So what you're going to do is grab this little bar here on the right and just drag it up here. Okay. And then it's going to ask you to confirm. So click on yes. Okay. So now what's going to happen on our sequence in Apollo IO, an email is going to go out to our contact. And then 20 minutes after the email goes out, I'm going to be alerted that I need to phone call that company. And then three days later, they're going to get an automatic email. And then on day seven as well. Now, later on, if you decide you don't want these particular steps, so maybe you just want one email, one phone call, and then a follow-up email. You don't need this fourth email. You can easily just turn this off and you can see the button turns gray. So now we just have these three steps. Now, who are you going to send this to? So we're going to click here on contacts here on the top. Okay. You can see I have no contacts in here. So we need to add some contacts. What you're going to do is click on add contacts here on the top, right? Here you can go ahead and choose which contacts. So if you already have a list, you can go ahead and upload a already created CSV or a spreadsheet right here. The cool thing about Apollo IO is they have millions of contacts. So maybe you want to go ahead and 
use prospect searcher so we can search the different prospect and maybe we're only going to target offices in a specific city or in a specific zip code you can do that right through here and if you already have lists that you've created inside apollo io you can go ahead and click right here and then you can go ahead and select the list if you have any this is a test account so i don't have any of my lists in here okay so here we are back in the sequence and up here on the top left you can see that this is the name of the sequence so generally i would change that so you go right here to settings okay here in the settings you can go ahead and rename the sequence so maybe this is a campaign to san jose office location campaign okay that way i know later that this particular sequence is geared towards san jose offices here we can go ahead and set up the scheduled hours if you want so we have it set up here eight to five because you don't really want to be messaging the offices at 10 o'clock at night. However, if you are targeting nightclubs, then maybe you want them to be sent out at 10 o'clock at night. That's really up to you. And then if you want to check the performance of your emails that you're sending out through your sequences, you can click right here on reports. It's going to show up here once the emails start going out. If you need to make any changes, or maybe you made a change in your Apollo IO sequence that you need to retract, you can click here activity, and you can see the various changes that were made in this particular sequence, whether it was you or somebody else in your company. Okay, let me click back here to overview. Okay, up here on the right, you want to make sure that it is launched. So this one's automatically active. So let me go ahead and deactivate it right here. And that way I can go ahead and edit it. Make sure it's completely ready until I launch it again. Once it's ready, you can go ahead and click on launch and then launch again. Now, if you need to come back in here to delete one of these steps, you can do that at any time. Here on the right side, you're going to see these three dots. So just click on those three dots and then you can go ahead and click on delete. And that's going to delete that particular step. If you know you're not going to use it for me, generally, I don't really delete steps because I might use them in the future. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and pause it. So the step is not active. Now, if you're getting a good response on one of these particular emails in your funnel, you can go ahead and split test it right here. And then if you have the paid plan, you can go ahead and set up another variation of it. So maybe you're going to go in and change some of the wording or the sentences or the call out. So you can do that as well. All right. So once you have set up your sequence, it's always going to show up right here on the left side. So you can click here on sequences and then it's going to show up right here, as you can see. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to set up a sequence in your Apollo IO, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.